the next tool which we are going to need is a text editor. A text editor is a program that allows us to edit plain text files or just text files. You might be wondering at this point why would we need another tool? We already have a hex editor. Why do we need a text editor? Let me show you an example. We can see here in this folder which is called fastmw a few files. This folder by the way is part of the fastm package which we are going to talk about later. But for now we just care about a few files. As an example let's look at this file which is called what's new dot txt. This is a plain text file. How can we see its contents or maybe edit this file? We could indeed use a hex editor to do it. Here I have hex workshop. If we drag this file into hex workshop, we can see that this file only consists of text. We can see it in the right pane. On the left, however, we can see many numbers. Well, this is not very convenient to edit or view text files. Maybe to some, but most of the people will not want to edit files this way. At least not text files. Another option, which is the preferred option, is to use a text editor. I want to begin with the simplest possible text editor on the Windows operation system. It is called Notepad. You don't have to install anything to have Notepad. You just get it together with the operation system. It doesn't have many options, however, I think that it is important to discuss at least once Notepad. That is because if you are not on your personal computer, or maybe if you don't even have any internet connection, you always have Notepad. Let me show you how to run Notepad. First you have to click the Start button, and then you just write Notepad. That's it. This is Notepad. As expected, it looks pretty simple. We can just write some text here and maybe save it. We can also open text file. As an example, we could open what's new.txt in Notepad. We just drag this file into Notepad. And we can see the contents of what's new inside Notepad. You could also open files in Notepad through the menu, maybe for example using file, open, and then specifying the file that you want to open. Notepad is also good to view code. Let me show you an example. This is the main source file of Facet, which is basically just a text file. It has a different extension, it doesn't have the extension txt, but it is still a text file. We open Notepad, and then we can just drag this file into Notepad. And we can see it here. You can do all of this course using Notepad. 
I will not recommend it because it might not be the most convenient option, but you could do this if you wanted to. The next option I want to discuss is called Notepad++. This is not a program that you get together with Windows, however, it is a free program. You could download it and use it for free. If you don't have any strong opinion about text editors, I recommend you to do this course with Notepad++. Let me show you how to get this program. I begin by opening my browser. And next I search Notepad++. Next I click the first result. And now I got to Notepad++ website. All I have to do now is just click the big download button. There are a few options to download. I'm going to pick Notepad++ zip package, which is without an installer. We could just extract the files and then immediately use Notepad++. If you wanted, you could pick another version. They all work the same. I click on the download link, and then I press OK. The download has now finished. I go back to Total Commander, and at this point, I can close the browser. This is what I got. A zip file. I have to extract it. Right click on this file, followed by extract all. Then I just click on extract. I wait a few seconds. And then I get the extracted folder. Which is here. As usual, I recommend to first move this folder into your programs folder on your computer. I'm cutting this folder using Ctrl plus X. Then I move to my programs folder, which is in this path, D, programs. In your computer, it could be anything. It is your choice. Now I paste it here. If you wanted, you could change the name to something more convenient. Maybe just NPP6, which stands for Notepad++6. Now let's see the program. In order to run Notepad++, you just have to click here on notepad++.exe. And this is Notepad++. Basically, it is pretty much like Notepad. But you do get more feature. Just as an example, you can open many more tabs. And also, you can see the line numbers. And this is only the beginning. Notepad++ has many features and it is also extendable, which means that you can add plugins. Let's see for example how the file fasm.asm looks like inside Notepad++. As usual, we can just drag the file into Notepad++. Let's do it. And this is what we get. As you can see, compared to just Notepad, Notepad++ 
is much more colorful. This is an example of assembly file. As you can see, Notepad++ knows how to recognize parts of the file, and it gives them colors accordingly. The feature of seeing the line numbers is also pretty important, as we are going to use it in this course. Let me tell you about some other options for text editors that you have. The first one might be the FASM editor. You get it together with the FASM package. We are going to see in the future how to install it. Another option is the Sublime text editor. You can download it and try it as long as you want. Some other two options are the Vim text editor and the Emacs text editor. And there are a lot more options. In this course, I'm going to use the Vim text editor. Let me show you how it looks like. This is how the Vim text editor looks like when you edit an assembly file. The Vim text editor is a pretty powerful editor. However, I will not recommend it to you if you are really a beginner. If you are just starting out, I would recommend to begin with something like Notepad or Notepad++ and then move on to more advanced editors. I want to note that at this point in the beginning, it doesn't really matter which text editor you pick, as long as it is simple enough and that you love to use it. At this point, it might be also worth mentioning about things that will not work as a text editor. Using any rich text editing programs will not work well as a plain text editor. Just as an example, Using Microsoft Word is a bad idea. I just want to show you why. Let me show you an example. Let's say that we want to create a simple text file that contains only two words. Hello, world. Let's save the file. Maybe, for example, in the folder D, temp. And this is just an example. On your computer, you can save it wherever you want. Now I just save it as hello. Okay, now let's do exactly the same thing, but this time with Notepad++. I write here. Hello world. And then I save this file inside the temp. Hello. Okay, now that I saved those two files, let's take a look at them with the hex editor, for example. Maybe even before doing that, we can see that the size is really different. The size of hello.txt is only 12, 12 bytes. However, the size of hello.docx is of size 
about 12,000 bytes, which is a bit of a difference. Let's see those files inside the hex editor, just to understand what is the difference. I open hex workshop and now I drag hello.txt into hex workshop and this is what I see. I see a few numbers here and on the right I see the textual representation which is just hello world. Now let's try to open the Word document. I drag it into Hex Workshop and this is what we get. A pretty long file. Also note that we cannot really find where in this file the hello world is. If we try to search for example for the word hello we don't find it. Basically Microsoft Word creates more complicated files. That is because Word files contain more information. They contain information about the formatting and the presentation of the text, while plain text files only contain the text. In this course, you have to use a plain text editor. Using Microsoft Word, for example, will not do. You will not be able to go through this course with Microsoft Word. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson. You just have to pick some text editor. If you are not sure, just use Notepad++. If you have some other preferred plain text editor, just pick your preferred one. And you don't really have to worry about it. Many people take text editors like some kind of religion war. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. You could always change it later, as all plain text editors comply with each other.